G'day, I'm Kate Barrock. How are you? I am on beautiful Ewan country and I'm off for an overnight hike in a truly magnificent spot. Hope to set up on a cliff top and just watch the sunset, listen to some birds and just really enjoy this one. Let's do it. Hasn't gotten too thick so far and it's really quite pleasant walking. Fingers crossed. <laughs> there were so many spiders, it was time to get out the, the swiper <laughs> to clear the spider webs before I go through them. I always like to keep a pretty good eye on the weather forecast as I'm you know, coming up to a trip and it's been looking absolutely spectacular. And then this, this morning I checked it again and it said, there's a chance of this crazy ass storm with large hailstones. So that's gonna, you know, my partner else was like, maybe you shouldn't go. And I was like, I mean, I probably shouldn't, but also I think the weather's so sort of patchy. I'm just gonna ride it out and test out my uh, tent. <laughs> I really like garden orb weaving spiders because they're very polite. When you do go through their webs, they tend to just curl up in a little rock and fall to the ground. Whereas say a golden orb weaver might be a bit more cranky and try and give you a bite. Bit of fun now, starting to get a bit thicker, but we're still pretty smooth sailing. So definitely can't complain. Some of this after fire regrowth has been really challenging to get through. So anytime <laughs> I'm not on hands and knees crawling through regrowth, I'm pretty happy. This is the fire regrowth we know and love. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's quite shady in here. It's not too bad to be honest. It's um, lots of tall, thin saplings at this stage. Hasn't got any, um, there's this vine called lawyer vine. It's sort of prickly and it comes through and it tangles you all up um, so far there hasn't been any of that so we just got to keep pushing on oh man I love flannel flower such a beautiful plant looks so different to many Australian native plants in fact the first time I noticed it in the bush I thought it was a weed <laughs> just didn't know but it's such a beautiful plant I remember one hike I did oh, a few years back just after the bushfires and there was the pink flannel flower was out. Uh, it was just such a beautiful thing and I remember seeing it. I didn't really know that much about pink flannel flowers when I first saw it and I, I knew it was different. I knew it was a flannel flower but went back and did some research and it's such a, you know, a unique phenomenon to see the pink flannel flower out because it comes out after a big bushfire and it was really special to just stumble across it on a creek bed. <laughs> this is a lyrebird's mound. Quite cool I've just stumbled across it I haven't actually heard any live birds but I'll move on quite quickly because I don't want to disturb the live bird I'm sort of starting to approach this cliff line here behind me and it's got a little overhang and I still get this excitement the first time I've been to an area and I'm seeing things for myself and like, you know, making decisions, should I follow this cliff line to the left or the right? And, you know, just in, enjoy learning about a new area. It's coming a little bit overcast. Maybe that storm will come out. <laughs> anyway, let's go explore this cliff line. I want to say a massive thank you to all my supporters, my Patreons, my YouTube members, super thanks, everyone who's watching. I just want to let you know that every cent that I make through this channel, I pump straight back into buying new gear, getting better mics, better editing software, new cameras. So thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm trying to get better and better at editing and making these videos um, more beautiful and more enjoyable for you guys. So I really do appreciate your support. So thank you.
So I'm sneaking around to the left of this thing because I'd actually like to get, I think, up on top of it. Um, could be a good campsite up there because that should give me a bit of a view into the gorge. There's a bit of a uh, cumulonimbus cloud forming, a couple of the anvil sort of shapes and a few darker clouds and I can hear a little bit of thunder so hopefully it's just sort of a high intensity quickly finished. Down 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 there I can see this beautiful little pool of water. Oh my god it looks so perfect. I would not mind being down there right now. Now the wind's just starting to pick up like it does before a big storm hits so I think we are going to cop a little bit of a bit of rain. Still blew out here. A few big thick clouds though coming in from the left and right. <laughs> I guess that's sort of encouraging to get my skates on, set the tent up. Yeah they're moving pretty well. <laughs> oh, it's kind of nice though the cooler weather. just like a little labyrinth in here I'm really enjoying exploring all these little sort of cliff lines and shoots it's quite beautiful <laughs> yeah I think this will do for a, it's a pretty nice campsite <laughs> I can hear a bit of thunder <laughs> rumble, rumble, rumble. <sighs> what a view. So beautiful. So there's this beautiful river down here and one day I have the dream just to follow the entire river. He's gonna piss down. <laughs> Alright, yep, camp, camp, camp. The joy about this guy, I did in a little gear review is that you can actually just flick it up and chuck everything in. So I'm going to do that now because I reckon I've got <laughs> about five minutes before I get hit by that storm. So we'll just chuck in there. I'm going to open it up and chuck my bag straight in there. Oof. There you go. So now I can take my time putting up the tent because all my bits and bobs are in there. They're all going to stay nice and dry. Might keep this guy up. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the storm. <laughs> a rut row. I need a log I reckon on this guy. It's windy. Let's peg it out quickly. I think we're good. Woo! Okay, just gonna tighten everything up. First drops of rain are coming over. Oh, she's windy. <laughs> See the bands of rain hitting over there. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'd love to have a little campfire tonight and just chill out and watch the stars, but hey, 
nature might have other plans for me tonight. <laughs> I'm very happy that I've got my tent set up before this storm hits, so just going to buckle down in there and ride it out. <laughs> it's going to be a good storm. Oh, feels good to get that off. I love hiking in gators. You know you're alive, man. You know you're alive. <laughs> yeah, I love hiking in gators there. You know, they're a little bit hot and sweaty, but they really afford me just that little bit of extra protection and pushing through sticks and sharp vegetation and obviously a little bit more protection from snakes, which always feels nice, especially solo hiking. Check out my crazy ass shoes. I just lashed out on a new pair of ultras. The others had a pretty bad smell, so <laughs> how wild are these colours? And they're like, my socks are just next level too. Right socks and ultras are my favourite. It's humid, it's hot, had a big day. I think it's time for a beer, cheers. Definitely a passing shower, right? <laughs> I really, I, I was so close not coming today. I just, you know, life just gets so busy. I think life admin, oh my God, life admin galore. Oh, if I don't sign another form <laughs> for another couple of months, I'll be so happy. Oh, <laughs> I had to get this special form signed the other day. <laughs> Random tangent. And I was in such a rush with work. I just quickly printed it at work, filled it out, signed it, took it in and they're like, no we have to witness you sign it. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> uh, rules, rules upset me greatly. <laughs> All right, better bring you in. Let's set up the bed. It's pretty hot. I'm actually looking forward to the storm to cool things down a bit. I'm a bit sad when I bought this tent, it was under a thousand dollars Australian because you've got to import them from the US. But now I believe they're over a thousand. So there's this weird import tax uh, which I think is almost $200. Uh, so just, yeah, it upsets me because I, I wish other people would be able to buy these tents without having to pay that. <laughs> How good's that lightning? Yes. Oh man, I'm just so lucky I timed that perfectly, hey. It'll be interesting to see if this hail actually does come out of it. Oh, that'll really test my tent. <laughs> It's gonna be hail here. I think the most, in, the more intense it is now, the quicker it'll blow over. Good thing about rain too is there's not gonna be any mozzies. Are you guys all right? You're getting a bit of a hammering there in the corner. <laughs> oh mate! <laughs> I should just go out there and have like a, a shower. There's hail. There's hail. <laughs> it's only small, but. Oh, I'll show you. So there's a little bit of hail falling now. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. I just had this dream, and maybe I'm completely dreaming, but that this will pass over and it'll just be the most epic, beautiful night. See? Feels a bit lighter now. The rain has stopped and I'm back here out on the cliff and I think I'm going to spark up a little fire and just chill out, have dinner, watch the sunset maybe. It's a bit cloudy still but yeah, just going to make the most of uh, a beautiful evening that may not have happened. I might have just been sitting in my tent. It's so amazing after that storm passed, I just heard the birds start, you know, doing all their calls and so beautiful. Like, yep, you there, I've survived, yep, storm's over. And it was like this little call and out I came and beautiful.
there's something so beautiful about going to bed when it gets dark and waking up with the sunrise so yeah I think I'm gonna do that get up and hopefully we get this beautiful sunrise Good morning from the cliff top. I'm just watching the sunrise, watching it hit the cliffs behind me and just enjoying this epic view, listening to the birds. I'm gonna spark up the cooker and get some noodles and a coffee happening and just soak it in. So as for coffee spots, this one's pretty good. Cheers. Oh. I just love tracing the, the river through the gorge and imagining being down there. <laughs> it's so weird. Whenever I like hike up on ridge tops, I'm always like, oh, what's down there? And then if I was down in the river, I'd be looking up being like, oh, I'd love to get up on that cliff top one day. <laughs> oh, the human mind. It's always pretty crazy when you, you know, you look at the sides of a cliff and you see all these fallen rocks and you're like, hang on, I'm standing on a rock very similar to that one. <laughs> Please don't fall while I'm here. So the plan for today is to have some breakfast, pack up the tent, explore the cliff line a little bit. I'm going to take a slightly different um, track out of here. So just explore the area, enjoy it for what it is. It's always changing out here. I, I, I visited this area a couple of years back and there were just orchids everywhere. And so, and now this time that I'm here, there's just flannel flowers everywhere. I love that about nature is you could visit this site 20 times and it would still have something to hold and some beauty and new discoveries there. I, I, I do love that. I wish I could fly. <laughs> oh, I just love to, you know, fly over there and check out that area there and like that top tier there further back from the cliff line looks like it could be a beautiful sort of a cave site. A bit of an overhang. Just fly down the gorge and <laughs> I guess it makes those places more, more remarkable when you get there if you have to walk for three days <laughs> or like a day. You can't just fly in there. <laughs> Always make sure your fireplace is stone dead cold. I always like to leave no trace. So what I'm going to do is scatter these ashes a bit, just make it look a bit more natural. And leave no trace. Then I just love to chuck a bit more leaf litter over top so it makes it look really natural, like nothing happened.
this scattering leaves is also why it's absolutely critical to make sure it's stone dead cold because if you had a little coal or an ember there and you'd scattered this to make it look a bit more inconspicuous you could definitely start up another fire so there you go a bit of rain and a day or two and you won't even know i was there i'm a massive believer in leave no trace if we love going out in nature and we love these wild places then please 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 leave no trace don't leave toilet paper don't leave rubbish don't leave scars of fire pits if you do have a fire make sure it's small and then clean up after yourself Look how easy this tent is to pack up. Boom. Done. Is it just me or do you guys get a ridiculous sense of satisfaction from how light your pack feels on the last day of a hike? You've drunk, you know, most of the water, eaten most of the food and yeah, it just feels so sweet and so light. I love it. I'm all packed up. I've done a second little look around camp, made sure I've left nothing behind, leaving no trace and it's time to hit the trail. Let's do it. I love following these cliff lines along because they're nice and rocky and it stops the vegetation from getting too thick so it's a pretty good little rock hoppy way to make some progress in this environment. I love just walking really slowly through the bush and just, you know, taking a few steps and looking around and looking for any sign of animals or plants and just really soaking everything in instead of just like plowing through. I think in my younger hiking days, it was just about kilometers and distance. And, but now I think as I grow to appreciate, you know, the Australian animals and plants so much more, it's just a real joy to sort of keep your eyes down and and look around and see what you can find. I think that's what keeps hiking interesting for me. Like, I never know in three steps time, am I gonna come across a beautiful lizard or an orchid? Made it back up to the rocky platform. It's just a hop, skip and a jump back to the car. So. I want to say thank you so much for watching and please join me on my next little trip. Cheers.